Russell with the Piano Outlet, and I'm making this video for Francois in Canada. This is his piano, and what I did with his piano is I installed, <coughs> excuse me, a Yamaha factory mute reel onto his piano because this one came with a disc clavier but did not come with a silent system. So what I did was I actually took a mute reel from another Yamaha C3, a newer, a newer piano, and I put it in his piano here. And um, the one thing that is different is the way the mute rail is activated because in a factory installed uh, mute rail of a C3 today, it's motorized. But uh, we didn't have enough time or really the available technology to get the motor to work. So what I did was I installed a, um, an actuator that's actually made by Piano Disc. This is actually the actuator that is used with the uh, Quiet Time system. And what I did was I ran the cable from here into the inside of the piano. You see it right here. And um, this is actually the mute rail here, this this unit right here. And uh, the actuator is here. And I actually set it so that it would work with this uh, cable system that Piano Disc makes. And basically what happens is that when you want to mute the piano, you pull it down and you'll see that the mute rail is in the on position when it's down, okay? So this is the off position and this is the on position. The trickiest part about this installation was uh, uh, getting the right position to drill through the horn here. This is called a horn, and uh, you have to actually make a hole here to pass through. Uh, but everything is working perfectly. I find that the mute rail does work best when it's a little bit in the forward position here. Uh, because the uh, Yamaha electronics, the, the hammer likes to go as high as possible, and so you actually have control with that. You could actually have it set here, and it, this is the most um, uh, this is the this this stops the hammer a little sooner, and I li really like and felt that it works a little better in this position. You could actually play with it when you get the piano uh, delivered, Francois. So you're going to be watching this video. But as you can see, it works perfectly, and uh, all this equipment here is is Yamaha. Now I'm going to put the uh, action back in the piano. Uh, you always have the mute in the off position when the action back in the piano. This is your action. You slide that this back in, like this. You connect the cable to the electronics, like this. Okay, and uh, right now the P, the mute is in the off position. <laughs> Now the mute. Now your control box, which is this unit here, <coughs> used to be located here, but this is the only place that I could put this, this lever. I don't think that it's good to have this control box underneath the piano anyway, because it is rather big and it is banging into your knee. Um, I recommend that um, if you set this piano up in a little home studio, you can put it on a little table over here on this side, along with your tone module and the headphones that plug into or on the other side of the little table, maybe something like about this high. This enables you to control everything real easy, and you can put your tone module up here. So that's basically it. When you get the piano in, this wire here will be up underneath. This wire plugs into the back of your control box, and then the other wire is your power cord, and that plugs into power. And it's pretty simple from there. I'll send you uh, uh, the first... Uh, chapter or so from the user manual because that's all you're really going to need and then uh, you can take it from there. So hope this little video helps you. Thanks.